Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio from AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is how to tell very quickly if you're very, very low in refrigerant on an air conditioning system. So if you walk up to a system and the system is off, you can check the refrigerant charge right then and there before you turn the system on by using your saturated temperatures in the PT chart. Uh, so on our gauge faces, in this example we have a PT chart overlaid already, and we see that the outdoor temperature is 70 degrees. We look at the rating plate and we see that we have a refrigerant in the system, that's R4 to I, and we see that both of our gauges are measuring the same pressure. That pressure is 118 PSIG. Now if we bring that into the inner ring for R4 to I, which is a saturated temperature, we see that we have 40 degrees. But the surrounding air temp is 70 degrees inside and outside the building. The saturated temperature should match the surrounding air temp. In this case, it should be 70 degrees. So, so we already know that we don't have saturated refrigerant in this system. Saturated means that liquid and vapor both exist at the same time. And what this is telling us is that we only have vapor refrigerant in this system. If you only have vapor refrigerant in the system and no liquid, then that means that you've leaked out about 7 eighths of your full refrigerant charge and you don't even have to turn the system on to know that you're very low on refrigerant. The other thing to determine is if you are reading a pressure of 118 PSIG, are you sure it's R4 to I refrigerant? Because it could be that you have R22 in this unit and not R4 to I. So you really need to look at the stickers on the rating plate, the sticker on the compressor. There should even be a tag on the TXV if it's equipped with one. You can also use a refrigerant analyzer. So you gotta make sure that you know what refrigerant's in that outdoor unit before you say, oh, it is definitely low on refrigerant. Now we're going to go back to R4 to I again. So say the reading plate said R4 to I, and the system is running with a frozen evaporator quill. The first thing you're going to do is check the, the vapor gauge, and you're going to see that you have a, say, a uh, saturated temperature that's lower than 32 degrees. In this case, you have a vapor pressure of 78 PSIG. If you bring that into the saturated temperature, you read 20 degrees. So the saturated temperature is going to be below 32 degrees because that's the temperature that air freezes onto the outside of the coil at. So if the refrigerant's below 32 degrees, that evaporator coil would be frozen. But what we really want to pay attention to is the high side gauge, which is the red gauge. We want to pay attention to subcooling. So say we read a pressure of this R4 to I system that's running with a frozen coil and we read 235 PSIG. If we were to bring that into the inner ring of R4 to I, we read a saturated temperature of 80 degrees. Now on the liquid line with our temp meter, if we read 78 degrees, then that means that we only have two degrees of subcooling. If we have say one degree, two degree, three degrees of subcooling, then that's telling us that that system is low on refrigerant, regardless of whether you have a TXV metering device or a fixed orifice metering device. So you don't necessarily have to defrost that evaporator coil before diagnosing the system to determine if it is low on refrigerant. Now, if you got a subcooling of 8 degrees or, or 14 degrees or something like that, it could be a low airflow problem or a liquid line restriction problem. And we have some articles over at our website that you can read to determine what the problem could be. You can also check out our troubleshooting guides in our book and also in our quick reference cards, which are available over Amazon and our website at aecservicestick.com. But that's how you do it. You can check the saturated temperatures and the superheat and the subcooling to determine what's going on in that system. Now, say we were checking a R22 system and our vapor saturated temperature was at 20 degrees and our liquid saturated temperature was at 80 degrees and you see that we are measuring a pressure of 144 PSIG on this R22 system running with a frozen evaporator coil. We convert that to a saturated temperature on the red gauge of 80 degrees for R22. If we only read 79 degrees on our temp meter on the liquid line, then we know we only have one degree of subcooling. So that system is low on refrigerant for sure. So at that point, you wanna turn that system off and you wanna go ahead and start checking for leaks. You can do that with bubble leak detector on the joints. You can use the ultrasonic leak detector. You can check out some other videos I've done with that. And to learn more about checking the refrigerant charge using superheat, subcooling, and to learn more about checking the refrigerant charges of air conditioning systems as a whole, say maybe you're just not understanding the superheat, the subcooling, the saturated temperatures, check out our book. We have sample pages over at the website at acservicestick.com. 
so you can see what it's all about. But in there, it's going to take you from start to finish, right through all the way to troubleshooting. But you really need to understand what you're reading first and, and how the refrigerant flows through the system and what's actually happening. So you can check that all out. We also have an ebook available over to the website. And that's also available over at Google Play. All of our physical resources like the book, the quick reference cards, and the workbook, they're available over at Amazon.com as well as the website. Check us out over on Facebook.com slash EC Service Tech. And I hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at EC Service Tech Channel.